Hey, it's AP, and today we're going to replace this switch with a programmable one. Yeah. Okay, check it out. <laughs> Most of our exterior lights are on Wi-Fi switches, which means we can control them from an app on our phone, and we can control them from anywhere. It's super cool. We can even use our smart home systems to turn them off with our voices or turn them on with our voices, run routines. It's really great. But I have two lights on the exterior that are on runs that do not have a neutral wire. And what that means is I can't use one of my Wi-Fi switches. Yes, for some reason, the Wi-Fi switches require a neutral wire, and this one and another one in the house does not have that. So I've been using regular light switches, but hey, it's 2022. Why should I be using my fingers to turn a light on and off when I have technology at my disposal? So I Googled the solution, and there actually are some light switches out there, uh, programmable light switches out there that do not require a neutral. I picked this one up. This is a Honeywell Home, and I got this off of Amazon, but you can probably get it at your home center as well. This is a programmable switch. You can have, um, it's up to seven days worth of programs or uh, up to seven programs. You can have different uh, routines. It can be single pole, meaning it doesn't require neutral, or it can be a three-way switch. Ooh if you so desire to make it a three-way switch. Um, but you don't need a neutral, which is really cool. So let's swap this out so I can save my finger the, uh, the strain of exercising every time the sun sets. Uh, first step, turn off the breaker. Let's go do that. A few minutes later. All right, so you're only gonna really need one tool for this, and that is a screwdriver. Um, a pair of pliers can be helpful depending on how the, uh, the leads are attached to the switch. And then I also have a voltage detector just to make sure I don't get electrocuted. Now, I did confirm that the light is off on the porch, but it's always better to check and be safe versus being sorry. So ignore that cracked thing. It's a depth extender for the light switch. I'll replace it later. The voltage detector actually went off the first time, even though the switch wasn't turning on. I had to hit a few other breakers until it finally gave me an all clear. So voltage detector for the win, buy one. There's a link below. The programmable switch has three leads on the back. Since this is a single pole, I'm going to join two and C with the black wire in my box and number one with the white wire in my box. Just follow the instructions in the packaging if you're doing a three-way install. Programming the switch is very simple. Press the hour and minute buttons to switch from 24 hour to 12 hour. Press the program button to, well, program. You start with the on time and finish with the off time. Oh, and before switching between the on and off time, also set your days for the program. Since I want this to happen every day, I just hit the day button until all days are exposed. Once you're done, just click one of the corner buttons and you're good to go. Oh, and to switch from manual to auto, just press the main door button for three auto. seconds until the words switch on the screen. Bam, you're done. Well, that took me about a half hour worth of work, if that, it was more like 15 minutes. And uh, most of that was spent trying to figure out which breaker was the right one to turn this off. It is now labeled correctly. And uh, yeah, so, I can't wait till 5.15 p.m. when this thing turns itself on. Woo! <laughs> well, I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, please leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with someone you think might find it useful if they're uh, programming and installing their own timer switches. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have all kinds of helpful videos from home improvement to prop making to costume making to model making. All kinds of making is happening here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.